In this video, we're going to carry on with this idea that we're working on and we're going to add a bass sound. So to do that, we know that we can right click and insert a new MIDI track. And then with this MIDI track, we'll just go through our instruments and find a suitable sound. So we'll go for simpler and bass. And we'll go for something like this. It's a rich sound, but it needs a bit of work. So I can show you a little bit more about the simpler. So if we just hit a few keys, we can hear straight away it's well too far up the octave range. But we are in roughly the right area where we want to be. We could play this down at C1. But what I'm going to do is just keep it in the same place and I'm just going to move or transpose the whole thing down. So this is now in the right range. So transpose, all this means is we are moving the position. So rather than being higher up the keyboard, it's now lower up the keyboard. So we're transposing the pitch. So whatever semi term we press, it's now going to be much deeper. What we can also do is we can add a quick bit of filtering to the sound. Makes it sound a bit more like a bass. And I'm just going to add a slight envelope to that as well, just to bring it to life. And now we've got something that we can work with. So what we'll do is hit play and we'll add in some notes. Let's just try adding one more note. And quickly what I'm going to do is just go back to our congas and we can make these feel a little bit more alive because as you've probably noticed we've got all of these hits but we haven't actually got any swing on them so they're all sounding very straight at the moment so we can just hit groove and then now we've hit groove let's just listen to a few of these we're looking something with a bass 16 so that sounds like it should be pretty good So all I've done there is I've made sure that whatever groove we're using, I've put that on the bongos and I've also decided to put that on the bass as well. And you don't actually have to commit it, which uh, presses it or prints it onto the actual clip itself for it to work. So this is now working, but if I hit commit, you can see the notes have moved ever so slightly. Okay, so now that we've got our bass in place, look forward to the next video where we're going to look at recording in audio.